Hey guys, this is Allison from Alley Cat Creations. How are you? I'm going to do a reading for the stir seeds. Tomorrow is a really big day and we got to know what those energies are. So let's look at them. Spirit, what messages do you have for the star seeds? Especially for tomorrow with the 2-22-22 portal. What messages do you have for the star seeds as the collective for the 2-22-22 portal? Guys, if you like this, please hit that like button. Please share and subscribe because I have a lot of content on this channel. And I have a, my own Oracle channel. So if you don't want to deal with the reading of other books and other content, I have made Alley Cat 211 Oracle readings. That's the new channel. So this will be going up on both pages. But for those of you who just want the readings and nothing else, that will now be an option for you. Okay, star seeds for the portal of 2222. Spirit, what messages do you have for the star seed collective? We have the void. What messages? What are your garden? Nourish, body care, tenderness, and reset. So with the energies pouring in for tomorrow and for the rest of the week, Make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Make sure you're taking care of yourself and your energy because we will be getting a lot of light codes. The void, stop, embrace winter, great cosmic womb. So what are you birthing? As we are nourishing ourselves, our body, what are we trying to nourish? What are we trying to bring in? Because the void is the absence of space, but it's also creating new. It's also birthing. So what are we birthing besides new abilities and all kinds of other fun that is coming our way? Spirit, what messages do you have for the Starseed Collective? We definitely need to take care of ourselves. We need to make sure we're getting plenty of rest and listening to our intuition. Sure, what messages do you have for the star seeds? messages for the star seeds for two 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 have to refan what messages spirit do you have for the star seed collective Truth, see your light, know your power, have the courage to walk your truth. Magnificence, you are amazing, magnificent, and unique. 
but most importantly, you are enough. Intuition, trust your intuition. It has been guiding you to seek the answers you seek. So if we're questioning things right now, if things are not where we want them to be, use your intuition, birth something new, something that you've not done before. Make sure your body is nourished. It's very important. What are the star seeds manifesting for the portal of 2222? What did the spirits, what spirit is the star seeds manifesting? Spirit, what are the star seeds manifesting? What are the star seeds manifesting? Unleash your kindest self. And then we have focus on the positive. There's quarter moon, Capricorn. Are you being too hard on yourself or someone else? Do you think you need to be strict with yourself or other people to get where you want to go? Your challenge now is to be disciplined in terms of doing what needs to get to be done to get what you want without sucking all the joy out of it. Feeling good about life is one of the most powerful tools you have when it comes to manifesting. So be kind and be your most charming self. It's good to be realistic, but you don't want to have this the stench of reality so far up your nose that you can no longer smell like perfumes. So while we're taking in self-care and drinking water and resting for this for these energies to come in, make sure whatever is trying to manifest that you do it out of the purest and kindest of your heart and yourself and focus on the positivity. When we're birthing our manifestations. That's very important. So make sure you're focusing on the good out of all circumstances and don't harbor any negativity. Like, oh, this won't work out. Oh, I don't have enough money for that. You know, not everything costs money. And then use your intuition. Spirit. What messages do you have for the Star C Collective? For the portal of 2 to 22. I have cards flying everywhere, Star Seeds. See what the universe wants us to know. Spirit, what messages do you have for the Star C Collective on the 2 22 portal? What messages do you have for the Star Seeds? For the 
222-22 portal. So we have we have the tenth house authority, and then we have Uranus change. Let's see what the tenth house. has for us. You're being asked to step up and take on the next level of personal authority. It's hard to build something without a clear blueprint. So look at your definition of a strong leader and decide whether you need to amend it. Remember how you felt as a kid about your parents, the school principal, priests, police, teachers, and observe whether they use their responsibility wisely and encourage you to develop yours or whether you need to rebel to be safe. Notice your relationship to the concept of divine authority and investigate if it was something to be feared, ignored, or expanded. Did it offer you safety and refuge? A bully is a parody of true leadership. Be careful not to mistake power over other people as equal to empowerment within. Wherever you are in your evolution, it's time to take the next step up the mountain of leadership, empowerment, and accomplishment. Which flows right into unleash your kindest self. So whatever we are manifesting out of the void, whatever we are birthing and bringing into light, make sure you're doing it from a sense of truth to yourself do it within balance authority. Make sure you're not letting people step all over you, but do it in a way that is kind and focus on the positive. And we have Uranus. Surprise or be surprised, be ready to shift gears. It's time to experiment and try a fresh approach or a new road entirely. If your life were a garden, now would be the time to scatter handfuls of diverse seeds, water them all, see what grows robustly, and weed the rest later. Urgent anxiety can be a symptom of Uranian restlessness. So rather than just fall, flailing about, Look at the root cause and ask what change would actually solve the problem. What looks like a disaster may bring a wild opportunity. If you are thrown a sudden or shocking change, assume that you are being tossed out of the nest into a potentially heroic journey. Uranus electrifies. It may feel like your finger is stuck in an electrical socket. You are anxious to change, but you can spin your wheels until the shift into the new gear. Prepare for an evolutionary leap. Shocking circumstances can force you to engage gifts you didn't know you had and help you transform. You are not those external attributes in transformation. You will not dissolve. A caterpillar is internally the same creature once it becomes a butterfly. So know that change is coming to every paradigm going on in the world right now. Know that wherever we're birthing, if we feel that it's not coming out manifest wise, that you need to change your approach and look at it, but take authority to it in kindness and love and knowing your truth and knowing that you are enough to make those changes occur. Spirit, what messages do you have for the Star Seed Collective for this portal of 2-22-22? What messages do you have?
What message do you have for the Sturcy Collective for the portal of 22222? We have gratitude. This is the Bluebell Fairy. Gratitude is a secret to joy filled life. True thankfulness can work like modern alchemy, yielding happiness and peace beyond imagination. And it's so simple. Find what's good and wonderful in every moment. No matter what's happening around you, there's always something to be grateful for. Whatever you appreciate in life will grow. So discover what you're thankful for, even the people and situations you found challenging and watch miracles unfold. The universe is grateful for you. Appreciation for everything flows through you in great bounty. Cherish the preciousness of life in everyone and everything around you, and miracles will abound. In addition to gratitude, blue bells are thought to be symbolizing humility. As you step into the soft, gentle energy of humbleness, you find that your gratitude for even the smallest things in life expands. Blue bells opens the door to magic. Legends describe ringing the blue bell like you would a bell in order to bring fairies to you. In the spring, blue bells grow throughout the woodlands in a lush carpet, and you can feel this magic simply by being near. The spirit of the blue bell fairy says, the more gratitude you have, the more bounty will fill your life. Cherish the preciousness of all things, and joy will fill your life. The universe is thankful for you. Absolutely. That's a really good card. And be mindful of the gratitude. Spirit, what message do you have for the Starseed Collective for the portal of 2 22 22? Uh, messages. More cards falling. Sorry, guys. This is the big deck. <laughs> Guys, make sure if you like this, make sure you hit that like button. It's free and it helps spread the word. Spirit, what messages do you have for the Star Sea Collective on the 22222 portal? We have net caster. Preparations come to fruition. The net caster arrives to tell you to stop praying for the fish. They have arrived and it's time that you cast your net lest they swim away. Everything that you long for is within reach, but it has been so long since your prayers were answered that you have forgotten how to receive what is being offered to you. Put down the prayer beads and open your arms and your heart to rewards beyond measure. Cast your net. Take the next step that you have been planning for so long. Remember that the fish wait for no one. So time is of the essence. Heaven and earth are in perfect alignment for your victory. The stars are positioned for success. The only one who can spoil the perfection of the moment is you. If you ask, do I really deserve this? You will sabotage the magic and shatter the crystalline flawlessness of the now. The net caster can also arrive to bring you bad news, to tell you that you have been snared in someone's trap and must wiggle free. Right now, it feels comfortable enough, even as the net begins to tighten around you. 
Do not wait until it's suffocating you before you realize you must escape and run for your life. It is still early enough to exit gracefully. Bid your time until all the conditions are right. Go to your place of stillness, of deep quiet, and watch for the signs that a new opportunity has arrived. Right now, you are patient because you feel the things that things will go your way. Learn to be patient with the people and situations that are most challenging. So it seems like we are birthing something and we have to be mindful that we're taking care of ourselves and not to let ourselves suffocate in situations that might bring us our downfall, but prepare for the, the fruition that things will come and sit in gratitude with your authority, with your truth, knowing that you're enough, using your intuition, unleashing it in positivity and kindness, the change will be coming. And things will be manifesting for us, especially with what's coming tomorrow. Spirit, what messages do you have for the Starseed Collective? Messages you have for the Star C Collective for the portal of two twenty two twenty two. What messages do you have for the Star C Collective for this two twenty two twenty two portal? Thank you, Spirit. A new romantic cycle begins. So those of you who are single or looking for somebody, someone might usher into your path. And that might be something you're manifesting. A time to give rather than the take. So make sure whatever you are manifesting that you are spreading the love and the light to those who need it in the universe. Actually, we'll do these. For what messages do you have for the Star Sea Collective? for the 2-22-22 portal. What messages, Spirit, do you have for the collect Star City Collective for the 2-22-22 portal? What messages do you have for the star seeds? What messages? Really pretty picture. Failure is only learning. I move with confidence and resil resilience. I assess matters carefully and discern wisely. So again, guys, do not be afraid of what you're trying to manifest and what you're trying to birth because there's no accidents and always discern what you're trying to manifest. And if it's of the greater good, 
Make sure you do it, do it with gratitude. I explore my wildness and dance in pleasure. So also make sure that you're taking time out to have some fun with yourself. Archangel Michael, what message do you have for the star seeds for this portal? 2, 22, 22. What messages Archangel Michael do you have for the Star Sea Collective for the 222 portal? It's time to leave this unhealthy situation. My prayer, Archangel Michael, what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make a healthy, healthy changes in my life. So as we're going through a lot of these spiritual upgrades, downloads, here, if you want to pause, here's the prayer, if you want to say it. There is changing, there is a lot of changes happening to us physically, mentally, bodily. And we're being upgraded. Your own messages do you have for the Star Seed Collective for this two, What messages spirit do you have for the star sea collective for the 22222 portal? What messages do you have for the star seeds? It is safe to let go. You are surrounded by love. So if there is anything unhealthy in a situation that you need for the change to happen and for things to come to fruition, know that it is okay to let go. Be authentic. Your way is the only way for you. So know whatever you are trying to birth into the void, into this world. You're doing it in a position of positivity. You are unleashing your kindness with your authority, with gratitude, but you're doing it within your own truth, being your authentic self, the magnificence with your intuition. When you do that, you could be attracting a new love partner in your life. You could be manifesting new things to come to you to come into fruition but it's a time to give to the collective and being yourself is doing that here what messages do you have for the star c collective on this two 22 portal. You know, taking time to rest and relax, 
to dance, to do yoga, to just meditate, just to be still while we manifest these changes and, and our new powers and our being ourselves. Manifesting the things that we want. But with change, things have to die in order to come, die in, in get out of our lives because we don't need those patterns and things that leave us empty. So that prayer from Archangel Michael will definitely help with that. Spirit, what messages? We have boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. So remember, things just don't happen. We have to make and put the work in. So make sure whatever we are manifesting, whatever we're thinking about, whatever we want to birth, that we're focusing in it on a positive way, but we're actually putting the motions into making things happen. What message is spirit? Rose, romance is in the air. So from some star seeds, again, we have romance as a new romantic cycle begins. And here we go, we have the rose. So some of you, again, this is a general reading. Some of you might have romance. We got bridge, successfully overcome a problem. So it looks like whatever we are having problems trying to manifest, bring into fruition, those things will be overcome. Let's get more from here. Here, what do the star seeds need to know? What messages for the portal? Okay, I, I, I already got two. <laughs> money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. So those of you who are in situations where that's something you need abundance, it's coming. It's on its way. We have Cain. Pay attention to your health. So just like water your garden. We're being asked to look at our health right now. Make sure you're drinking more water. Make sure you are spending time if it's not in a cold region in the sun or, you know, read a book in the window. You're still getting your sun that way. Make sure you're sleeping enough. Okay, we have hills. Obstacles to overcome. So many of you might feel stuck right now, but it really does look like things are coming to a head with our finances, with romance. We just need to make sure whatever we're bringing into fruition that we are working on it. And there might be some obstacles because change isn't easy. Change and it's knowing that like we, there's the net there, making sure you leave a situation before you get stuck. Like knowing the warning signs, going within, asking your intuition, hey, is this situation right for me? If it's not, you can move away from it before you get trapped. Spirit, what are the star seeds need to focus on? What messages do you have for the star seeds to focus on?
Director, what is the Starseed Collective need for the portal 2222 to focus on? Oh, that was vibrating high. Inner voice. Persistent words and feelings that represent your greatest desires are dropping into your mind. Instead of putting life off until you do or be something in the future, bring your desires into the present. Anytime we feel like we have gone off track, we have traveled a different road to our soul and everything becomes a signpost to return us to the center where we can tune in to our own wise transmissions. Just as the voice on a GPS navigator tells you which way to go, your soul wisdom is always leading you towards your destination. Neither will scold you or become impatient if you take the wrong route. They will, always, they will just adjust, find an alternate route, and give you new directions. You can't get it wrong. Listen to reoccurring words and ideas. Pay attention to how you feel and drive forward with the ones that make you and your face and heart smile. Do you have goals and focus your attention or do you drift aimlessly through your days hoping for something better to arrive? When you notice negative self-speak in your mind, say peace, love, or calm. It may be a bit weird, but this will snap your mind from negativity to other possibilities. Choose a crystal and make it your companion on your journey. Ask it where it would like to go and what would it like to do. It is with you for a reason. So funny that says that. So this really, like this card basically in her voice read so much into all the other cards from this reading but we're going to ask the crystal deck what crystals does the star seed collective need for this portal of 222 22. What crystal spirit does the star seeds need for the portal of 22222? We got Jade. Be the bigger person. Let's find what Jade has to say. Take the high road. You have the power to choose how to interact with the people in your life. You can either lift each other up or drag each other, drag each other down. You can be small and give your power away, or you can be the bigger person and stand strong in your convictions. To elevate your spirit maturity, be mindful, respond instead of react. Don't take things personally. Listen without getting defensive. Instead of letting conversations and encounters get to you, brush them off and maintain your composure. This is your power. Sometimes you say more by keeping silent and getting further by remaining still. Do you often take things personally or get defensive? Are you in control of your responses to others? How can you be more mature in your relationships? Crystal, affirmation i show up as my most mature self today 
Take the high road in all situations. So you have a really pretty jade card. So if you have jade, it's okay if you don't. But if you do, make sure you have that on hand tomorrow. Okay, Spirit, how are you helping the Star Sea Collective for the portal of two, 22, 22? Oh boy. How are you helping the Star Sea Collective for the portal of two twenty two twenty two? Pull that card a lot. Good one. The yeah, Pearl of Shaparo. Taking responsibility for your experiences empowers you. You are going to resolve an issue through spiritual inspiration and higher guidance. You will rise up in full connection to your spirit and access a wealth of divine treasure. That which has brought darkness into your world shall submit to the light and be transformed. Have courage and commitment to your awakening, for you are a precious being and can go far on the spiritual path this lifetime. This oracle has emerged in your reading because you have the capacity to become a light bearer. Safeguard your energy, yet trust the light within is strong enough to see you through any struggle and eventually transform into a precious pearl of sacred empowerment. You have the wisdom in your divinely alchemical heart. You shall rise with dignity. We're going to get one more prayer from Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, what do you have for the Star Seat Collective? What messages do you have, Archangel Michael? Guarded and protected. My prayer, thank you for protecting my loved ones and me, ensuring that they are safe and that all of our needs are met. I now accept your help gratefully and gracefully, knowing that it's time for me and all others to accept heavenly assistance. What a way to end a reading, guys. Here's the prayer. If you want to pause and read that on your own time. So star seeds, it looks like there's a lot of manifesting going to happen. It looks like things are looking good. There's obstacles, of course, that we can't control sometimes, but we can overcome that by using our intuition. Resting, drinking more water. That's definite. We got the cane card for that. Making sure you step into your authentic self, not allowing anybody to trap you. And knowing that everything is going to be okay. Go within. If you have Jade, that's a good card that I pulled. That's a gem if you have it to use it. Otherwise, Sending each and every one of you love and light. I hope you enjoy the portal energy tomorrow. If you're into that type of stuff, meditate. Check out my Just Oracle channel, Allie Cat 211 Oracle Readings. If you don't want to see the other stuff that I do.
But otherwise, hit that like button. Make sure you share. Make sure you subscribe. A lot more readings are coming through. Have a great day, guys. Bye.